Right now, you can see winds across the area are calm in Travis County, and they're only blowing at 5 miles per hour out in Burnett County. That's important because of the brush fire that's burning out there. Despite winds that gusted up to 25 miles an hour there yesterday, the fire that's burned dozens of cedar trees out in Burnett County, it's now 100% contained. Fire crews remained on scene all night to try and knock out that brush fire off FM 963. This is where we find our Alicia Inns this morning with the latest. Good morning, David. Yeah, considering the windy conditions we saw yesterday, it's actually really eerily quiet out here this morning and a pretty eerie scene behind me because there's some spot fires that have been burning all night and now it's that it's daylight. You can just see the smoke there, but it's almost like a field of gray ash left over from these trees that have burned from this fire right now. We're along uh, FM 963. This is about six miles east of State Highway 281. And actually, about 10 area fire departments have really been working on this fire all night long. And that is also working with the Texas Forest Service. They have had some big dozers cutting the fire lines and helping them contain it out here. They also the U.S. Fish and Wildlife. They've been monitoring the environmental impact on this 45 acre fire. At least six homes were threatened from this fire and officials ended up evacuating people yesterday at about 430 in the height of this fire. As David mentioned, high winds really did not do any favors for the crews out here. And they actually really monitor the weather. They rely on Mother Nature to really help them. Unfortunately, that can also hurt them. High winds, well, I guess there's a front coming in and it's blowing. Uh, the winds are changing directions constantly. So every time we think we have it out, it seems, tends to flare back up. All right, so one of the other biggest concerns that he was talking about is the terrain out here. You notice uh, all the cedar trees in this area that can actually make it pretty tough for the fire crews to get in there and tackle the flames. And the biggest question right now that we're really waiting on is uh, the cause of this fire. How did this thing start? We're hopefully going to hear from officials. The good news, though, in this, it is 100 percent contained this morning. For now, we're live in Burnett County. Alicia Inns, KXAN News. Okay, Alicia, thank you.